I'm Molly McManus with Cornell Cooperative Extension of Broome County. Welcome to Savoring the Flavors of the Southern Tier, a collaboration between Southern Tier Independent Restaurants, the Greater Binghamton Chamber of Commerce, Cornell Cooperative Extension of Broome County, and sponsored by IBM. This project is an opportunity for some of our local chefs to share one of their unique culinary creations and to guide us through the steps of preparation. Our demonstration site is the Commercial Kitchen, located in the Farmer's Market building on the Cooperative Extension campus. Dining in or doing takeout, our local restaurants stand ready to serve you. Hi, I'm Rick Bad, owner and executive chef of PS Restaurant in Vestal, New York. At the restaurant, we try to elevate all our recipes and products to a higher level. Uh, for example, if you come in and order a filet mignon with yaki truffle sauce, you're getting a sauce that is an Asian vinaigrette thickened with a truffle butter. If you order a pork chop with a Thai barbecue sauce, the barbecue sauce is a not a traditional tomato base, it is plum and hoisin based, and that's how we try to roll at the restaurant. So at the restaurant, we do do a Thai uh, pesto sauce. The ingredients are here. Um, again, we try to elevate it a little bit. We, instead of using all the basil, we use a third of fresh mint. Instead of pignoli nuts, we use uh, peanuts that is a staple in Thai cuisine. We do add a little bit of ginger. We also add Thai chilies. Instead of lemon juice, we use fresh lime juice. And instead of salt, we use fish sauce. So we're going to make our pesto now. First, we're going to start with the peanuts. We're going to add fresh ginger, fresh garlic, lime juice, sugar, a couple squirts of fish sauce, We're going to start blending this. We're going to scrape down the sides. Add the basil. Add the mint. going to pulse that again. And we're going to add the oil. And the sap. Scrape down the sides again. So next we're going to season the sea scallops. Little black pepper. and some kosher salt. And they are ready to go into the pan. So we're gonna pour the oil into this skillet. So next we're going to take our scallops. You can see it's kind of starting to smoke a little here. And we're going to place them. That's what you wanna hear is a nice sizzle.
If the pan isn't really, really hot, the scallops will just stick to it and they'll never get a nice crisp brown side to them. Caramelize on the bottom. We're going to flip them over and do the other side. And we'll continue cooking on this side. Then we're going to pull them to a plate and add our sauce. So now we're ready to start our plating. So we're gonna take our pesto. We're gonna put four little dollops on our plate. And then we're tapping them with the scallops. And we'll finish them with a little bit of cilantro. And that plate is all done. So you all saw how quick and easy this pesto is to prepare. It'll easily store in your refrigerator for a couple of weeks. Um, the different variations on it, you can add this to a pizza, you can add mozzarella and tomatoes for a nice tasty pie. Um, at the restaurant we add shrimp to this and vegetables and rice and it's an entree. If you add a little cream to the pesto, you can toss it with fresh pasta or you can just use it as a dip. So um, in any event, give it a try and come down and see us at PS Restaurant. We look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Silvana from PS Restaurant and we have selected a cocktail to go with the Asian pesto that Rick has just prepared for you. So the pesto can be very spicy, depending on your preference. So we've selected a cocktail that is sweet, it is seasonal, and it also makes a delicious dessert. It's called our Caramel Apple Teeny. So our ingredients for our martini are very simple. We have a red delicious apple vodka, we have a caramel vodka, a whipped vodka, and our favorite rum chata. So very simple, get your shaker, and we're going to fill it with ice. First, our apple vodka, two ounces. The caramel, a half ounce. Whipped vodka, half ounce. And the rum chata, one ounce. So once you have all your ingredients in your shaker, give it a good shake till it's icy, icy cold. And very simply, we're going to garnish our glass with the caramel drizzle. Pour in your martini. And then we're just gonna add a little dusting of apple pie spice. And that's it. So thank you everyone. We hope you enjoyed our demonstrations. Please come to PS and enjoy our specialty cocktails, our unique cuisine, and our friendly atmosphere. Thank you.